Okay, uh, yesterday about the Tories, I have to complete this uh, before I start translating for you uh, live um, the actual story. It's a long story, but um, let me cover first what we uh, just talked about, which is paratextuality, cohesion, um, coherence, and now it's lexis or idioms uh, and cultural items or expressions. Now, with cultural items and exp uh, expressions and lexes, uh, there are a few points that are discussed in the actual story. As you can see, the story that I'm talking about is this story. Okay, just to remind you of it. Uh, now, with regards to these, we have few cultural items, such as, for example, uh, to, uh, B uh, plan, B plan, uh, Tories, uh, the Times. Uh, the channel, the foreign office, the government, labor, uh, geographical locations. Um, these are uh, cultural items. Also, there are other uh, cultural items, such as, um, as you can see, um, uh, I, uh, the idioms. Uh, they are not cultural items as much they are into linguistics. And uh, these are idioms and expressions like owing to, striking a deal, this is collocation, Backup, Plan B, which is the same really. Uh, in the throes of a coup, this is a called a coup, Nqilab, uh, going round in circles. Now these are really, <coughs> these are some of the um, terms or idioms or expressions that I thought would be useful to point out before I start translating. Um, I will be translating it live as we speak, the story itself. And let's go back to the story and I will have to uh, make it focused so you can see. Of course, the title, as I said before to you, and this is very, very uh, common, that you will never translate the title until last. Always leave the title till last. Do not translate the title uh, straight away. So therefore, I'm going to leave the title and the subtitle and I will focus on the first paragraph. Okay, uh, I'm not going to read the, trans uh, the, the, the paragraph, I'm going to just give you the translation of that particular paragraph uh, of what I think will be the first, um, let's say, uh, what is in the mind of the translator when they are translating. And I'm trying to explain to you that, which is called TAP, Think Aloud Protocol. Now, it says here in Arabic, we have ministers have resurrected proposal to send illegal migrants to Britain's overseas territories thousands of miles away as part of alternative options to tackle the small boat crisis. So, resurrected, if we look at the word resurrected, in Ba'atha min jadid. Yani ihya. Yuhyi min jadid. Al-wuzara. Muqtarahatin. Bi-irsali. Al-muhajirin ghayr shar'iyin. Illegal. Ila. Aradiya. Aradiya. Kharija. Baritania. نفسها طبعا كلمة overseas يعني أجنبية لكن طبعا ما بنقدر أراضي أجنبية ممكن نقول أراضي خارج بريطانيا تابعة لها أوكي تبعد آلاف الأميال وممكن أن نقول كيلومترات هذا يعتمد على reader reader if doesn't know miles will have to convert them to kilometers آلاف الأميال أو آلاف الكيلومترات بعيدا عن بعيد آلاف الكيلومترات بعيدا عن بريطانيا كجزء من خيارات بديلة لمعالجة to tackle لمعالجة أزمة القوارب الصغيرة جزيرة السنشن هي واحدة من الأراضي الخارجة بريطانيا التاء ولكنها تابعة لها 
يتم النظر فيها مرة أخرى على أنها موقع ممكن بعيد عن الجزيرة الأم لبريطانيا وذلك لإسكان المهاجرين قبل تحديد destination permanent destination قبل تحديد مكان دائما لهم قبل العثور أو قبل تحديد أو العثور these are the two particular points I will stop here I'll move on to the next one in the following paragraph I'm going to finish the whole story so keep an eye on the on the following videos with regards to this uh, this story in particular and then we'll talk about how to translate the title.